Hello friend and welcome to the Slow Sim Driving channel on YouTube. I'm Grandpa Goes Gaming and this is the 2017 Suzuki Swift. And we're going to put this, this road car up against some serious race cars. A bit of info for you. The Suzuki Swift is a, a front engine front wheel drive car. Uh, it's got a, a 1.4 litre engine. Uh, which puts out 356 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. And it weighs only 834 kilos. It's got a turbo on it. Uh, so it's got a bit of poke. It's, uh, it's no slouch. But, you know, is it swift enough? Let's find out. Swift enough, that's terrible. And here we are at Le Mans to give this car the workout it deserves. First things first, let's uh, save some fuel. The, the Swift actually is very good on fuel, and I think that's been one of his big strengths. As you can see, it's got, it's got some poke. It's, uh, it's nothing quite like the Mitsubishi we tested, uh, but it's agile. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it, it's agile, which should, uh, should help it in the latter part of the lap. I've opted for hard tyres for the Swift, even though it's so light. Uh, it is front wheel drive, so we don't. Whoa, something just collapsed in my room. Uh, even though it's front wheel drive, we don't really want to overstress those front tyres uh, and find ourselves understeering with no acceleration. So I thought hard would be the best way forward. Speaking of forward, we're going to forward past that Audi TT. Hello, Louis, down there. Louis's down, down here somewhere. Just uh, checking out what I'm doing. And I think this is going to be a two-stopper, unless the weather gets really, really bad, because you can see by the uh, the fuel gauge. <sighs> Let's tell you what. As you can see by the fuel gauge, it was going to be a two-stopper. Let's see if we can stretch it. Whoa, that came in a bit slow through there. Uh, once again, the, the Group 4 car is probably much heavier than my car, so I may even have a braking advantage. Uh, we'll see. I certainly don't have any kind of a, you know, forward momentum advantage. Not now that we're past the, the back few cars. Uh, we'll see how much fuel we've got left at the end of this lap, and then uh, we'll move back to mode 4 if it's going to still look like a two-stopper. Also, we need to keep our eye on the weather. Weather's always a big factor in this race. We caught up nicely there to the, the Cayman after losing ground in the straight. But we are approaching 16 seconds behind first place, so we do need to be getting our finger out a little bit. Uh, this this car... Now, let's go for the two-stopper. Let's, uh, let's up the engine mode a little bit, because we're just losing touch with the lead cars, and we can't afford to do that. I'd like to say it's a long race, but it's, you know, it's not that long. Get around the outside of the Cayman. We can. Excellent. We've got some nice, nice acceleration out of there as well. Uh, judging by the uh, the timing on the left there, we're not really accelerating any faster than the leaders were, but we're certainly outpacing these two here. So we'll clear those. Oh, I'm all out of gears. <laughs> no more gears for me. Yeah, we certainly don't have the, uh, the top end that these all have either. So we need to be smart about this. This is going to be a strategy race. Use what we've got to our advantage uh, rather than a straight fight because this is never a straight fight. You can see there the way the, uh, the car just lifted off through that corner and left us behind. This is this is far from a straight fight. Might be getting a little bit of a toe there from Randall Hayward. I'm not quite sure. We're certainly starting to just claw it back towards him. Not going to overdo it into this corner because we'll just get stuck in traffic if we do. Eep, a little bit too much there, but we're fine. We're still in one piece, still pointing in the the correct and desired direction. Alrighty then, there's a big gaggle of cars here. We can perhaps look at taking them when we get to the Mulsanne. Obviously, they're going to be slow through the uh, the chicane that we're approaching. 
Uh, oh, we got a place here. Are we? Oh, it's a breaking zone. Oh, two for the price of one. Thought we'd overshot it. We just managed to keep it together. Valerio Gallo up ahead. Of course, has recently taken a break from GT7. Nice to see his AI hasn't taken a break as well. Thank you very much, Valerio. Oh, that's two for one again. Going Coke Lopez's BMW. And I got the uh, got the braking a little bit wrong there. Went down the gears a little bit too fast. Overrepped the car. It's all right. We're still in one piece. Maybe been BMNG. Oh, just like that. Look at the refs. That'd been BMNG. Yeah, would have blown the engine for a second time. Okay, just need to calm down a little bit. Be a little bit less racy because you know we've got another 25 minutes of this. Obviously, I'll uh, I'll cut out any long periods of nothing happening. Okay, about 22 minutes left. We're just starting to catch the Supra. Not really taking that much out of the leaders, unfortunately. We may have to see if we're a little bit more um, a little bit more racy when it starts to rain. If it starts to rain, the weather radar shows some serious weather heading our way. Oh, serious, serious weather. Uh, I think by the end of this lap, we are going to be coming in for some Wellington boots for our car. If not, a canoe. Right back to that fuel map. No, the weather's coming. There's nothing we can do about it. It's going to happen whatever we do, so no point dwelling on it. Focus on the resources we've got available to us, and we will focus on getting past Yamanaka if we can. Here we go. Brilliant. We were much better through there than the Supra. If we can get right onto the Corvette through the chicane. We can't, but we made good progress towards it. We can see third and fourth up ahead as well. Uh, may have just a little bit more in the tank, I think. We'll try to make use of that. But the rain has arrived. The heavens have opened. This is going to be really interesting now. We're going to see whose, whose platform is the most stable. Oh, uh, it's, it's raining hard. Oh, just for any noise you can hear in the background. The wheels just start to overheat, as always. Remember, if you subscribe, then one day I'll get to a thousand subs and I can justify a new wheel. <laughs> and then we can deal with that overheating issue. Oops, Daisy, that was uh, a little bit silly. Where is it? There he is. Oh, oh we're going to all wreck fest. Do not push me offline because it gets very wet out there. Really, you're going to drag race a Suzuki Swift. Well, if you lose, that is on your honour. Right beside us. Oh, it looks deep up here. I'm, gonna want, I'm just going to ease off early. I don't want to risk it. Of course, the, uh, the Corvette there. Easing off even earlier. Oh, we've got no grip at all. I've got nothing into there. Oh, shucks. Okay, let's, uh, let's make some adjustments to the car, if we can. We are in sixth and we are wheel spinning. Uh, we're going to need some traction control. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Okay, I've got nothing then. I was just spinning the wheels. I've got no steering or anything. So, oh, puddles forming there. Throwing the car around all over the place. We're going around. We're aquablading. Oh, we are around. We're around in a place you really don't want to be around. And it is just spinning and spinning and spinning. And we are in trouble. Oh, we are in a lot of trouble. Yes, I know there's a yellow flag. It's me. I am the yellow flag. Oh, the traffic not particularly fast through this chicane. Oh, we've got an accident up ahead. Uh, Gallo and oh the Corvette we were chasing as well that has uh, also 
I ignored the yellow flag. Did I? Uh, I thought I just went... Oh, I don't know. Okay, I've never had that penalty before, so I apologise. How slow everybody's going. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, and there's a puddle. We're back up lane again. All right, car, just... Just gently, gently. I'm not touching the throttle. I just want the car to go back onto the track. Uh, how long is this raining for, is the question. We're going to get a break from it. Oh, look at that. The Group 4 is really, really struggling. We're going to be so careful. Uh, we're still 15 seconds behind the leaders, so things haven't gone too badly for us. We get some speed up. Oh, Hayward coming back at us. Now, uh, four-wheel drive, man. Wheel spinning again. We're going to get some grip here. We've got some grip. A little bit of traction. Got a group of cars up ahead. I don't know if we're catching up with Portilla. But uh, that time is coming down. I'm just uh, feathering the throttle. Trying to feel out where we're going to aquaplane. And I'm going to just be prepared early for this corner. I don't want to overstress those front tyres. That penalty. I'm going to rue that. I'm going to rue it. Consider it being rude. Does I get it for being rude? I can't remember. Here we go. Oh, it's it's the whole front pack. <laughs> They're all here. But every car is here. It's just a massive train of cars with no grip whatsoever. Oh, and there we go. Ah, oh, I've got it all to do again. Oh, hey! Have a little bit of respect. If you don't mind. Hard to know what to do. We've got some more rain coming, and then it looks like the weather might even clear up. Hey, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, stop picking me around like a... I don't know. Like a Suzuki Swift in the Group 4 race, I suppose. Oh... Oh, somebody else is around. It's, it's the Supra. I don't know if I should go on to Inters. It looks as though the rain's going to stop. Do I try and save myself some trouble? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's uh, change the fuel map. I wonder if we can get four laps out of some slicks. <laughs> I know it's a little bit crazy. I'm going to lose time. But can I gain time again with another... You know, pit stop. Come on, guys. Get in the pit lane. Oh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Take a gamble. I'm going to take a gamble. There's no more rain after this rain. Here we go, then. Slicks going back on. This is the gamble. If there's no more rain, we should be okay. If there's no more rain, and if I can just use 25% of the fuel per lap. I know that's asking a lot. Especially if you over rev the car like that. Oh, we are right at the back of the field, and we are a long way behind. But... It's a big butt. The skies are blue. Oh, look at that Corvette skidding around all over the place. I have to wonder how many AI vehicles are on Inters. Because if, if there are any, I think there will be a few. They should be easy pick pickings as soon as we hit the dry patches. And they should hopefully pit again. So let's get the revs as low as we can for now. We'll see if we can do a 25% fuel lap. Oh, look at them all. Very slow through it. They, they could all be on slicks as well. I think the, the AI might have, might have predicted the weather in the same method that we did, and they've just been doing a slick run. So that's going to make this a straight up race. We are catching the lead cars ever so slightly. Okay, all out of gears again. 
Must remember there's only six. Uh, start looking at easing off some of the TCS. Not all of it. Gonna let that just drift in. We've got a car over, car around again. That's the Genesis gone. The conditions are so changeable, I've never actually seen the AI making so many mistakes in one race. It's helpful for us. We're still sort of in Inter's territory at the moment, so I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to bother with their slipstream either. Whoa, we should be braking by now, I'm sure of it. We've got a car coming up the inside, we've got a car round. Who's that? Oh, that's the Aston Martin round. Uh, we've got the Subaru off. Hey, lots of drama. I'm well, being overtaken there by McEwen's Corvette. So that's somebody who's found some confidence. Drop a little bit more TCS because we're almost back into uh, dry territory now. Almost. Right, I'm quite happy with things the way they are. The Corvettes overcooked it. A little too much confidence there. And we're going to go TCS off. Check out the weather map. The weather radar looks good. It's a bit lower than that, I think. What's the fuel map doing? The fuel map's pretty good. Only 13% used at the moment. I think we still have 75% in the tank when we get to the end of this lap. Then of course we need to look at lap times, see how much longer we're going to be out on track. Uh, there's only 11 minutes left. Is it going to be two more laps or three more laps? I suppose that depends how fast the leaders are lapping. Oh, this bit's wet. <laughs> it doesn't look it on the gauge, but... Whoa! Big impact from behind there. Still pointing the right direction. Oh, behind the uh, Alfa Romeo and the Subaru. Oh, Alfa Romeo getting that all wrong. Oh, I haven't got much grip. Then out into a, a puddle there, I think. The AI, man, that's, that Lexus hates me. Absolutely hates me. We actually lost time there to the leaders as we were trying to negotiate that corner. I just got no grip. Just couldn't get pulled away at all. Go. So, bit carefully into here no heroics okay the leaders are pitting whoops suddenly snatched under braking that's not good oh well we're just losing time everywhere now Yeah, but the callback doesn't get a penalty for that, but I would have I'd done it, so... Grr. Trying to find the grip again. Oh, out of the way. Okay, we hit our fuel mark at least. With nine minutes left, I think, I think it's going to be two more laps. Don't think we're going to get to lap seven. Not like we normally do. There's somebody around up ahead. Can't tell who it is. Oh, it's the Cayman. See, this is when you're going to get the penalties. If the AI suddenly starts to stop in the middle of the road, you're going to go past it. You're going to take the place. We just have to shunt the guy to avoid the penalty. Oh uh, well, never mind. You know, it's a young game, but you'd think with the experience they've got with GT Sport, we'd have passed all this by now. Apparently not. A little bit more welly. 28 seconds behind the leader. Not where I want to be, that's all. Especially this late in the race, but uh, you know, anything can happen. It might still happen. 
But I think the Suzuki might be in trouble. Okay, guess who's around again? It's been a very dramatic race, if nothing else. Yeah, you can see a nice dry line now on the track. It's not super dry, but it's dry enough to give us some grip on the slicks. Back up to the Subaru now for a mayo, which is good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we come. Let's not uh, <laughs> let's not try too hard into the chicane. Let's not be killing anyone today. Thank you very much. Nothing else I want to beat that Corvette up ahead. That really has been our, our death star in this race so far. Don't think we can do them here. Might be too wet offline. I'm just going to back off a little bit. I do want to do the Alfa Romeo here if we can. Oh, no. No, no, no. Didn't have the grip that I wanted or needed. Oh, disasterific. That is not going to help our charge back to the front at all. That's not going to help us get the Corvette at all either. Dag nab it. Okay. Don't panic. What happens, happens. This has not been the best of races for us. Will we ever find anything again that can match that Mitsubishi? If you haven't seen the Mitsubishi race, by the way, it's on this playlist. Go ahead and have a look. It was quite the race. Oh. There we go. Been a little bit better this time. The, the car definitely uh, appreciating the drier track. Oh, we are miles behind now. Absolutely miles behind. Oh, sad times. Very sad times. Still nursing the car a little bit. Still trying to stay right in that uh, that dry groove on the track. Here we go. A little bit more pace through here than we had previously. About to snatch the brakes like we did last time. Here's the, uh, the leader into the pits. Portilla has managed to, to keep the lead, so that's impressive. 22 seconds, that's a lot of time to make up. I've messed up, haven't I? There's going to be another pit stop. I'm sure of it. Uh, let's look at the pit, the uh, lap time. A 4.39 lap time and it's uh, 4 minutes 35 remaining on the race. This is going to be so tight. Okay. Whoever's in the lead is going to have a lot of power at the end of this lap. Where's the Corvette gone? Oh, that's scampered off. Typical. If I've got to pit again regardless, maybe we should just turn the engine off. Oh, ah. Come on, Tricky Mickey, out the way. Around this side. Okay. That car in front of us is the Alfa Romeo. Let's see if we can just uh, haul that in because the Alfa hasn't really got the, uh, the greatest straight line speed, just like us. But a little bit more straight line speed with the extra engine mode. Where are we stopping? That's fine. It's all good. Oh, we're purple. As I expected us to be. 
We are going to start wheeling in the um, the lead cars, but not the kind of speed we need to. So the fastest lap is a 4:25. If I'm purple, I'm on for a 4:25, 4:24, which means I might need to back off a little bit to end the race. Uh, obviously, if I pit, I'm going to go at the back of the field. So we're going to have to accept whatever we can get away with at the end of this lap. Unless I'm too fast, <laughs> in which case, uh, I don't know, it's going to run out of fuel. I can't predict what's going to happen. There's just too many variables now. Let's hope somebody, like, all seven cars, perhaps have to pit, somebody's off. Giorgio Mangano, Mangano even, in the Mitsubishi. Off making sandcastles, that's one more spot up. For the Swift. Which, let's face it, is doing its best. It's trying hard, bless it. That's me queuing up ahead, so that's the, uh, that's the Corvette. I don't think we can catch it. Even in this engine mode, the Corvette seems to be a lot faster than us. Hardly surprising since, you know, it's a race car and we're not... Oh, slow down! Okay, that was a little bit... Um, a little bit scary. Car not wanting to stop at all. 1 minute 26 remaining. Uh, I think I've messed up. We'll see. We'll see, but I definitely think I've messed up. <laughs> Of course, if the leaders stop, then we can stop as well. I think I've been in this scenario before with one of the uh, the earlier cars that we used, and it, it really did just ruin our race. Wow, that uh, bit of curb in there was just too wet for our car. Okay, we've got some lead cars in the pits. Not all of them. Oh, I've got some slow cars here. What's going on here? They have all run out of fuel. Really? They have all run out of fuel. What are we doing? We're pitting or are we... Um, apparently we're not pitting. We're just going to go very, very slowly to the line. Oh, we're in the lead. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Can't cross the line yet. Another eight seconds. There's a car coming. Oh, where's that flag? Where's the checkered flag? There's the checkered flag. Boot it! Oh, they've beaten us in the pits. <laughs> oh. Right, okay. That's fine. You know what? The Swift did well. We can all be proud of the Suzuki Swift. It did so well. Hope you join me again next time when we'll try a, a different vehicle. We'll try tuning it, see if we can beat these Group 4s. We've done it once before, maybe we can do it again. Until then, thank you for watching the video. It's been great to have you. Thank you to my Discord, who are always so full of surprises. If you want to join that Discord, click the link down below in the description. For now though, be good to yourself. Be good to those around you. Bye-bye.